Hello, welcome back to me by Jingo. Uh, Pharaoh Jingo to you. Um, here in ancient Egypt, where I may or may not have procrastinated about this mission because it kind of scares me a little bit. Uh, <laughs> some more pathetic things I've ever said. Um, it's just, I don't know what to do first. I've been thinking about these hyenas as well. They've been. I mean, I'm not going to say they've been haunted by nightmares. Um, because <laughs> they haven't, that'd be a little bit too drastic. Um, but I'm kind of stuck in a thorny situation. I need to get more food, but in order to get more food, I need to colonise all the way over here. I need some fish there. Uh, and colonise over here. I need to sort out hyenas, and I've only got 2,000 Deben to do it with. What I think I will do, first things first, like I know what needs to be done. Um, first job is to build an academy and then an infantry fort because I think at some point in the near future somebody's going to want me to provide some troops. Oh yeah, and a recruiter as well. Oh, that's already connected. Doesn't that look like it's not connected? It's just that the graphics there shows no grass whatsoever. Anyway, let's have a rundown because it's been a little while since I played this mission. So, this is our main settlement. It's doing grand. It's actually a trading hub, so people bring the linen, bring the flax, leave with linen, bring some reeds, leave with papyrus. And we make pottery as well. Which I think we're going to fail on a quest. Yeah, unless I can make 1100 pottery in three months. It's all coming back to me now. There's gold mine there. Um, copper mines here. Can I afford a recruiter? Just about. Hey, look. Looks cleared to me. Right, so military's taken care of. I might put a, give a bit more to the city. Uh, 2,000. I still haven't decided if it's gamey or not. I mean, it's part of the game, so it can't be too gamey. It's, it's actually there as an option. And you kind of like stealing from the future to make the pre pre present better or something like that. Um, so that's step one. Sort out um, military. I also think I ought to have a thingy, an archer fort. But I might put that one on this side of the river. Use it to sort out the hyenas. Then I don't have to worry about them anymore, and I can have a I can sleep soundly at night. <laughs> So an archer fort will do cost me that much. We'll place it slap bang in the. M I might make it a bit further. Might make it there. Then once they've sorted out the hyenas, I'm free to build because there's some lovely grassland here, some lovely grassland here, some lovely grassland here. So what I might do, and I've had a quick play around see where I can build ferry landings. Can build one here. Here. Might not be a bad idea. So I've got here, here, potentially here, one there. Maybe that's a bit too complicated. Certainly can't build bridges, that's right out. But I can certainly connect up all of these agricultural districts all together. Keep the population relatively low. I'll have three granaries, one for each district. Because I'm going to have to put houses near all of them. They'll soon fill up with food. And then everything else will get shipped over to this part of the city. So many chick There's going to be so many chickpeas... You'll be bored of chickpeas by the end of it. 
There we go again. <laughs> You'll be bored of winning. I've got to win so much. Got so many chickpeas. I know the best chickpeas. Um, you know, I don't think I've ever had hummus. It's like a the dullest game of I've never or never have I ever. I've never had hummus. Not so far as I know. May have tried it once. Although, maybe not. It, it's one of those answers that could very well go either way. Anyway, we're not going to get anywhere on the slowest speed with me talking about chickpeas. So. They've got 20... Everyone's got... There's nothing stopping me now. Reducing troops. Apart from time. Kingdom rating of 63, so I could afford to let slip on a couple of deadlines. And that's so high because I haven't um, got into debt. It makes such a difference, but it slows the game down no end. Hmm. Ooh, you're buying papyrus. Yes, you are. Well done, you. It's the trader's life for me. He also I buys papyrus. I'll be a hero when I bring these goods back to my homeland. Wait, did he buy papyrus and sell reeds? It's the trader's life No, he just for bought me. papyrus. Oh, it's only 400 off as well. Oh, it's a relief. When I saw that flash up, I thought, oh god, has all my pussy burned up. Patara is pleased with your attention as so he shows that shipwrights, weavers, and jewellers are fully stocked throughout the sea. It's a lie! I heard something about Patara the other day, but I can't remember what it was. Um, that's an interesting fact. I, I can't divulge any more than that. It was mentioned. Uh, in, in terms of, like mythology and what is symbolised to the Egyptians, but I can't remember what he symbolised. He symbolised something. I can tell you that much. Well, that was disappointing. I thought he had something interesting to say then. What might have been an idea, had a thought about it, was having a shipwright that could have been fully stocked. Oh, hum. You live and learn. Perhaps he'll bless me again. Although that, that's kind of... Um, what do you call it? Tempting fate. Or something like, something like that. Have I got enough? Yes, no, not yet. I, I've almost got enough pottery. Well, to be fair, they did ask for an awful lot. Buys linen, but we haven't got any linen to sell. Why not? So I've turned off all my weavers because we haven't got nearly enough workers. Because they've all been sent to make pottery. You know, it's only two months late. That's fair enough. You just have to. Sometimes you just have to, have to take the bitter with the sweet. When I, mean, I can say that because I wasn't in the clay pit at the time. It'd be worth doing the same with the gold mine as well. Right, I am really short of labour. I don't know quite where I can cut workers from. Like, I need food. Am I stockpiling fish for some reason? Nope, people just don't want to eat it. Oh, 
Or did I just not set up a granary? There must have been some reason why I just neglected to provide these people with the basics. Perhaps I just don't like them. <laughs> we get them to get fish. That should be that should be near enough, and then everyone's got food. Then I've not got a catastrophic labour shortage. Which is ten months to produce produced eleven hundred linen. Oh, Pharaoh, great Pharaoh by Jingo to satisfy the citizens' needs. The city of Dakla Oasis. I remember Dakla Oasis. Uh, Request that you send 1,100 rolls of linen in 10 months. Helping Dakler Oasis could bring us benefits later. I like the sound of that. So, let's shut down uh, papyrus production. Turn on linen production, but also stockpile it. I feel a bit more comfortable now because at some point the population is going to spike up. I uh, can probably cut down on the number of potters as well. What a great idea! Industry's off. Oh, and your clay pits as well, we can turn them off. And now, no employment problems. Like, if we're not got unemployment. We've only just managed to just sort. So, you know, we've got enough to get by. I feel a bit cheated by Pitara, I'm not going to lie. Can I get a more accurate reading than just? No employment problems. Like, how many people are we talking? Like, ten? Would it be an unforgivable folly to start my papyrus industry back up again? Should I wait until I've fulfilled the linen quest? What well, sounds like it could be like a 90s DOS game, isn't it? Linen quest. From the makers of Fantasy Star. <laughs> Never played Fantasy Star, but I did have it on the Master System. No, I played it a couple of times, could never get my head round it. I think I might have been a bit of a thick child, I don't know. Big fish in a small pond at school, that kind of thing. Right, these people are finally getting some food, which is nice. Uh, slowly but surely. See, what I'm kind of concerned about is it's taking so long to develop that events are going to overtake me. You know, I don't really care. I'll build a physician to make sure it doesn't happen again, but... Hmm... I see. Yeah, Archer's stuck on the other side because it's not a working ferry landing. Alright. Let's build some houses then. its post police station probably a physician as well oh, what more do you want I built you a doctor's surgery hunter oh those 
Yeah, they look hungry, those hyenas do. I'm not gonna lie. They're gonna make a pretty hazardous trek. I don't want to be them. Come and pitch up your tent next to a um, hyena pack. Ah, 2% employment. Unemployment. Let's turn on the pirate industry. Oh, 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 that was a mistake. Short by 67. It's okay, it's manageable because these people are getting food. I keep saying it. Oh, great pharaoh by Jingo Dakler Oasis anxiously awaits the arrival. There you go. Let's make some money. Compliance not possible. Thanks. It's good to know. All these people moving in. Things are starting to happen. Oh no. You know, I'm going to want this back with interest. People love me. Does it used to analyze me as a god? So we're actually going down in the downward direction with that. Oh, well, you can't always be idolized as a god. I don't think it's good for you. Ooh. Oh, great pharaoh, by Jingo, you have tardy and we're delivering 2,200 pieces of pottery to Buhan. You should also be aware that a new trade route to Buhan is now equipment. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it was late, but we're not going to hold it against you, because you're pharaonic majesty. I mean, now I'm pharaonic majesty, I don't, I don't mean it in that kind of sarcastic sense where it rhymes a little bit with moronic. So what does Buhan do for me? Apart from sound a bit silly. Buhan. Sells... Ooh. Buys... Ooh. Ooh. I like this place's thinking. If only I had some wood to sell. Oh, there's actually ten people all queued up at the docks. Mm. Well, I've still not got any money. But I have got two profitable industries on the go. And a lot of reeds. Would it hurt? Put another papyrus maker in. I don't want to spend any money on desirability because I'm cheap. Okay, the the thing that's getting me about this mission is this. I know there's so many things that need to be done, um, but I've not got the funds to do it all at once. Now. I'm having a hard time prioritising what I should be doing. Do I want to establish this farmland over here? Um, get out of it. Nice to see your comrades are helping you out. There's also some copper that needs mining. Industries over here that need developing. I need to make these houses nicer. That's probably... I know that's probably one of the later. The more advanced concerns. I might turn the copper back on. Yes, I feel like this city is developing very slowly. I've been playing this for a couple of years now. I think it might be on year four or something. And I've still not got past the, the need for pottery. There's no entertainment or anything.
You know what I mean? Progress just seems a little slow. I mean, delivery man's being awfully slow with um, getting flax to the weavers. Perhaps a second warehouse would, would be to do the trick. I might do that. Uh, storage yard here as well. Accept flax. Fill up to half. Does that work? Almost. Oh dear. Oh great pharaoh by Jingo in pursuit of a long-standing feud, Icon, an Egyptian city, is under attack and needs your help. You should dispatch troops within 18 months. Well, at least I've got troops to send now. Oh, I don't need the transport to get them there, which is a relief. Oh, I probably want to turn the weapons industry back on as well. My city is finally coming to life! Now that chap can keep all of those people occupied with reeds. So why is this chap struggling so much? Uh, okay, fill up to half and fill up to... Oh, fill up to a quarter, fill up to a quarter. So both should have some linen, some flax. Theoretically. Well, that didn't quite work as planned. How many troops have we got? Eight there, twelve there. So two forts, neither of which are full. But I've got eighteen months. Is that enough? Twenty soldiers in two companies. It seems like quite a measly amount to send. Perhaps I should build another fort. Perhaps another archer fort. It looks like they're going to be pretty slow with the weapons. And that's... ooh, what happened there? Ooh. Oh, Vera by Jingo, because you have sent 1100 rolls of linen to Oasis, as requested, you have become more popular. Well, I knew that. Well, not much more popular. But look at the policeman, he's doing his job well. Sort of. Yeah, I'll build a second archer fort. So at least, if we've not got any weapons in the recruiter, they're not going to be idle, because they've got two forts to fill up now. There is a chance they're going to be idle, because they've only got two weaponsmiths.
Okay, let's start thinking about making this place a pleasant place to live. Bandstand only costs 180. I don't know why I'm being so parsimonious. Good word. Put a juggler school there. And then try to cordon off this land here for expansion into a pavilion. I do the same there, but desirability is not high enough yet. They've got a irrigate. <laughs> Sounds horrible, like a dir irrigation ditch around the back of your house. Ugh. But again, it might be an idea to do something similar here. The game will let me? Maybe not there. Yeah, policeman over here is just being mobbed by a. He's just been mobbed and killed by a swarm of hyenas. It's not a swarm, is it? It's a pack. Oh well. You can put a bandstand there as well. And do the same thing with beautification either side. Just so I don't forget, like build over it when the time comes. I am going to want a bandstand. But I can't think where to put it. Oh, let's put it a conservatory over here. See, now we've actually got a domestic demand for pottery. I'm not going to satiate it because I'm short by seven employees. And as soon as I set that up, I'm going to be short by about 107. And it's like a, I try to go for an exaggerated figure then, but like 107 actually sounds quite reasonable. Perhaps a third weaponsmith might not be a bad idea. I also want, because I've got a bit of money on me now, to build a really long road that just goes up and across and across and across to here. I think is where... Yeah, that's where the meadow is. I also want to have water crossings um, here um, here and I think one one there as well, but we'll do that later. Put a road going this way. I'm finally thinking with the right level of ambition. I can't be sort of keeping myself... Oh god, the hyenas are on the hunt again. I can't keep myself like... scrunched up in one part of the city. I've now finally claimed all of the map as my own. Ooh. That might not be a bad place to mine some copper. And this might not be a bad place somewhere like there to have a dock for your water trade. Or I could just sort of sell that copper there. How much would a... Very brute to boo and cost. It's 900. And where would I get wood from? Dunkle Oasis. Who buys pottery. And papyrus. And beer. Which I can import from. Booin. Right, I've, I've thought of another expansion avenue, but again, I've not got the resources for it. Oh, what a disgusting place to live. Fishing wharfs, irrigation ditches, 
I might just destroy that because it's just dragging down the whole area. Um, put us like small statues in. A picture, a, a statue of me. There we go. That's beautified it. And a cat. I don't have a cat. Probably never will have a cat. That's another uh, another fact about me for your uh, this non this uh, non-existent game of of what do you call it? I have never I've never had a cat or any pet more interesting than a hamster. Um, I've got nine months left to send off a small force. They also buy beer. I might open a land trade route and buy 200 wood. No more, no less. Woo! -hoo. And then put a transport wharf in. Just the one. I might have a storage yard there that just accepts wood. I feel like I'm playing this very cautiously. Finally reached 2,000 residents. Thanks a miracle I've got this far. Where have they got um, pottery from? We don't collect most of the taxes owed. We in fact collect none of them. I mean, this can't stand. This is a by Jingo Let's Play. Tax, tax collectors are going to get uh, killed by mobs of. by a brain mob of hyenas and disgruntled citizens. So we've got a road going through here. Let's have a small village. Basically a linear settlement, I think. The firehouse, architect's post. Um, police station, that kind of thing. Water supply. Bazaar. Woo! Forgot about them. Approaching my city. Whoa, 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 whoa. this isn't in the script. I thought it was. Oh, no. Match troops. A small force will attack in seven months. Okay, so. Dispatch these for kingdom service. Build a whole new world. Sorry, fort. I don't know where they've all gone. Huh. Um, I don't know where they come from either. Oh, bugger. I bet my architect's busy wandering off over here, isn't he? It's alright, we've got a stockpile of copper we can work with in the meantime. Is anywhere else about to collapse? I mean, what was the architect doing? I might put another one in. Uh, 
Oh, that's what happened. They got attacked by Bring Mob of um, Hyenas. Everybody's friend. What's that? No one is reporting any crimes. I pay more attention to the gods. That's not a bad idea. Ra's looking angry. In fact, they're all looking angry. So let's say the shrine to Bast. That's a bit of a waste. Can't really afford it. Who's angriest? Ra. <laughs> I like that. Judging what to do first. Who's angriest? Yeah, I'm going to have to put in some extra money. At least I'm not putting so much money in now. And I've kind of stemmed the tide a little bit. Now, Port Bazaar, though, I don't know if they should be able to get food from that granary if there was any food in it. So, this seems like fairly sound thinking from my point of view. All my troops are out on kingdom service. I've built a fort. In seven months' time, it'll have seven troops, which I'm hoping will hold back. However many hordes of Bedouins are going to turn up. I might also want a warship wharf. I don't know. It might be a sad end to a quite a sad mission. Notice the difference in complexity between uh, my Zeus missions and my Pharaoh missions. I don't know if it's because I'm further. Oh, not again. I am selling the linen, aren't I? Yeah. Just nobody else wants to buy it. Anybody for any linen? Who wants linen? Dakla Oasis likes linen. Is it your way doesn't? Wait, who was buying linen before? Was it Icon? You know, I think it might have been. Oh dear. If I'd have known that, I'd have been uh, a bit more enthusiastic about sending troops there. Right, no construction for the time being. With my only source of income, <coughs> well, my biggest source of income is is not available. It's the trader's life for me. Yeast. I don't stop doing that. Goods back to my homeland. I'll uh, pay for it out of my own pocket. I always wanted linen. Or flax. Goods back to my homeland. Oh, good. He's also selling me flax. Bed the Bedouins are on the way. I'm in debt again. St 
some silly me linen <laughs> and flax. I've got plenty, thanks. And nobody's buying anything. I'll be a hero when I bring oh, he will. goods back to my homeland. Right. Nobody is to buy any any wood, any flax, anything at all. Well, apart from reeds. Whew. Right. I'm back out of debt. Where's a nice place to... Ooh. Oh yeah, Angry Gods. Bast is angry, pa Ra is resentful. Since Bast is angriest, she gets a temple. There we go. And while I'm here... Ooh, maybe not. Spending almost all my exchequer on the Dynasty Mansion might be a little bit... Uh, Imprudent is a good word, comes to mind. I will build a water supply because it's just a bit sad seeing crude hunts. Okay, how do I work this for best effect? I'm thinking. That's the start of a sentence, it wasn't just a general statement. Like, I'm thinking. If we have a road going out here that goes across here, and kind of say to hell with desirability, the people need food. Five, six, seven, eight. They've got not, not got road access, so that'd be a bit of a waste. If we put an irrigation ditch, no, an irrigation, a water lift, let's get it right. It's like I never played this game before. Hmm, apparently you can connect it to the ocean. If I put it there, I can't put the ditch anywhere to be seen over here. If I put it there, it might not get labour access. Although I think it will. It's have to be, I'd have to be very unlucky not to. And then we put an irrigation ditch in across over here. Good. Now what we say is we'll have a granary here. So these people that are farming the food get to keep it. Any excess goes to the main city. So they've, they've got a self-contained, you know, food situation. Well, the desirability is terrible. I, I can't see any other fertile land there. I've, I've more or less built over it. There's perhaps a bit of meadow over here, but eh, kind of clutching at straws. also do something similar over here with a small bit of housing. Food levels are low, I'm working on it, don't worry. Where they can have a road that goes through to there. Please need it good, I just need to run out of money now and I've got a clean sweep. I probably do need a firehouse. And an architect's post. And a police station. So I'm almost out of money. But not quite. 
I've got 34 Deb and two my name. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. I didn't know we had any dogs. Seriously, I don't remember building any. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to try. Oh, that's where I'm place. guessing my um reads from. Huh. Would it be a bit of a pain to export my copper? I'd have to travel all the way over there, down there, up there. Kind of, yeah. It might slow the entire process of trading down to a crawl, unless I set up another storage yard over here. And it's plover either way. Is that the most efficient layout I could do? Probably not. I kind of panicked though. Chickpea harvest is in April. Oh good. Timed that right, didn't I? <laughs> hey, an extra thousand uh, Debon to play around with. It seems like a government that's based on whatever crops up at the time I have some money in my pocket. So, rebuild those through co three copper mines. Bast is still displeased. Bra is angry. Ptah is angry. So let's cheer them up. And a couple to Ptah. There we go. That'll keep... Um, Reasonably content until the next crisis comes. I still don't know where they got the pottery from. I'm short by 85 employees. Actually, that's not too bad, all things considered. Uh, they want some entertainment, but I feel that's going to just throw everything off if I do that. Let's get rid of that and put a little booth in. Yes? To help with this. And a little juggler school. You know. Things dying. I can hear some people being killed. I think hyenas might be to blame. Right, I've got some deb into my name, so... Well, now I had to think about this. Because I just thought, there's no real... Where is there? Yeah, there's nowhere to really... put a water lift in. Apart from right at the back there. And it's pumping in salt water, I'm sure. Won't it? It's it's going to the Red Sea. This this is this must be salt water.
right, I think. The irrigation ditch can go around. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Just build it there, for God's sake. <laughs> Right, we now produce enough food for 4,816 people. So double what we have. In the year's time, we're going to be really quite satiated. We're also going to be dead because the Bedouins are on the way. Well, they're all worried about desirability. What's my employment situation? Short by 18 employees, so I don't can't switch the potteries on just yet. In one month, I might build a warship wharf. Don't know if it's going to help. There we go. And the roadblock there. Firehouse. Architect's post. That kind of thing. Now, have you got workers? Yeah, you're just idling. I don't know how the Bedouins are going to come. I hope it's for, with a very small land force that's all the way over here. Would be nice. If not, I'll just have to play the waiting game until my army comes back. In whatever condition it's in. Well, it's nowhere near Icon. It's been gone for like a year. Well, it feels like it anyway. I'll see how I get on with the Bedouins. Oh, I've already got a ship right. Okay. Bedouin army attacks. I'm not going to lie, that's about the best direction they could have attacked from. Because they can't get th through there, I don't think. And there's nothing on here apart from a, a fledgling village. How many were talking anyway? I've forgotten how to change the map. There we go. Um, oh, great Pharaoh by Jingo! Because your troops capably dispatched the foe icon, you've become more popular among your fellow Egyptians. You know, who needs a blessing from Ra? You can just do it yourself. 90% of the population is registered for tax, which means 10% isn't, but they're only paying 47 debits, so I could probably let them off. Is it worth risking my own infantry company? Yeah, go on. They're about evenly matched. I think we should be alright. Like, Bedouins are the weakest enemies you can get. Huh. Whoa!
I just, I just thought I had some financial stability. Vaults hold 78 Debon. <laughs> They've taken it all! Yes? Well, it's a good job they're taking the day's sweet time, isn't it? Yay! Victorious warriors are home from the war. Their numbers might be reduced somewhat since they left. Sounds ominous. But their comrades' sacrifice was for the good of Egypt. And since I am Egypt, that sounds fine to... Ooh. Right, what I need you to do is give him the old heave ho. Whoa. Uh, fire a broadside. Well, that's a nautical term, isn't it? Well, the land equivalent of a broadside. And again. And retreat. And you can move forwards. They're gaining on him. Ooh. I ain't got time to play with hyenas. Ah! Well, that was chaotic, but at least they lost. Well, that was mad. I'm not going to lie. You can return to fort. You did well enough. But I felt you didn't listen to instructions. Well, I'm quite pleased with that. I feel like militarily I'm fairly capable. Right, look at that policeman go. He's going a bit above and beyond, isn't he? Uh, short by 60 employees. She'll be alright in April. Everything will be alright in April. You have a uh, water supply, you've earned it. If I put Bazaar there... Pull my copper up in smoke. That's not, that, you know, that's not a bad thing, is it? Surely you'd be able to recover from some, from, yeah, some copper from a fire. I'm going to change it back to June North because this is weirding me out. No end. Thirteen. You know, that's not too bad. Said they were sent out on um, you know, company service, kingdom service. When did three with icons opened up again? Or wherever I was um, selling my lid into. Be a hero when I bring these goods back to my... It's the trader's life for me. Fella, I've still got a lot of linen left over. I'm not buying any flax until that linen's gone. I'll be a 
such hero when I bring these goods back to my homeland. You know what, I'm going to stop buying wood as well. I have stopped buying wood. Where's he going then? It's the trader's life for me. Oh, he's uh, buying papyrus. I think it'd be a profitable move. And one worth doing to build some more papyrus weavers. Papyrus weavers? What am I talking about? You don't weave papyrus. You kind of stamp it. Oh, that's that's good. That's what I like to see. Trader's life for me. Oh God! Will somebody buy some linen? <laughs> It's good stuff. I need to do something about these hyenas. Well, I wait for that to burn down at this end of court because my fire marshals apparently have got better things to do. Fortunately, that doesn't include stopping fires breaking out. There's another firehouse there, might not be a bad idea. I can't wait for April, we're going to have so many chickpeas. Oh, so many chickpeas, you'll be bored of chickpeas. I think about that joke already. I'll make it again! There's so many chickpeas, you'll be bored of chickpeas by the end of this. I'm already bored by chickpeas. So we need a recruiter. There. And a storage yard. A bit closer. It's right in the section now where they can't help but get passed by a fire marshal. And, um An architect. Like no matter what routes that either of them take, they'll walk past the storage yard. Probably still find a way to burn it down, but at least it won't be my fault now. Why can't I find weapons? There we go. We're up near the top. I mean, why why shouldn't there be anyway else? It's not like in alphabetical order they'd be there, or in terms like next to copper, might be useful. Uh, price order? I mean, how is this organised? Food at the top, that makes sense. But straw and weapons? Eh. I am so looking forward to these chick oh look at that. They're just waiting, they're, they're, it's just full of chickpeas. Just, they're just waiting to, to harvest them now. Oh, delicious. Funny, really, I seem to be short of archers more than anything else. We well, consider how much more difficult it is to make infantry than it is archers. We've got so many infantry, hardly any archers. I think next part for the expansion, now I've got ooh, quite a lot of money. Yeah, well, that means it's time to start paying it off. They're paying me back with interest. There's my uh, dynasty mansion. I just had a sudden flash of in my head of the the eighties um, drama. Well, not drama. It's a sitcom. Well, not a sitcom. It's a soap. They had eighties soap um, dynasty. Wait, 
short by 67 employees. It doesn't matter what I do, I seem to be short by 67 employees. I really want to build a load of chickpea farms down here as well. I've got some urge to do it. Like a mad urge just to have so much food. Okay, I've got a bit of money. And the gods are all displeased. So at least they're equal in the dis displeasure. Um. Let's make them like me, then they can start blessing me. That might not be a bad course of action. So, uh, two shrines to Ra, two shrines to Ptah, and two shrines to Bast. Let's have them all the way over here. Oh, yes, look at. Just, oh! So many chickpeas, it's bigger than tear to my eye. I think it almost is as well. Oof. I got 2,680 people. In order to accommodate that, each shrine accommodates 250 people. Uh -huh. Sorry, I had a, a complete mind blank. Let's just build a temple complex. But who to? Always do it to the patron god because it has the best effect. Like it'll it'll please up to eight thousand people, regardless of whether it's patron god or just your bog standard local deity. There's a phrase. <laughs> your bog standard local deity. You know, your common garden local deity. Trouble is, where do I build it? I quite like to build it here, but I don't think there's room for it. Temple complex to Bast. It's a fairly large structure. You know what? It could be built. I can do this. We we'll just rearrange the road structure just a smidgen. Clear out the old road structure. Put that roadblock back in before I forget. I still maintain it can be done. That might be just a little bit too destructive. Hmm. But I do want it close to housing as well. Not only do I want the labour, but I also want the benefits to desirability. That... That's manageable. I mean, that's neither use nor ornament, that papyrus maker, so I don't feel bad about destroying that. So, temple complex to Bast. Everyone needs to get out of the way. Swear to God. Get out of it. Shoo! Well, now we just sort of rebuild the inside the entire system around them. So is that going round? That around there. A roadblock there and a roadblock there. It might even be able to get. Um... Ooh, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. My house and architect space. I managed to get workers, but it's a little bit too quickly. It's actually taken 50 people out of the labour pool. Now, what does Bast do for you? Um, satisfied with less. That sounds good. Altar of Isis. Uh, Isis leaves a hilly hands on the 
city's populace. Removing plagued walkers from the streets and cleansing any infected houses. ISIS also takes care to improve your city's overall health. That's ISIS, the uh, wife and sister of Osiris, not the um, yeah, the dog in Downton Abbey. I mysteriously died. I mean, I was worried about the parrot called Ira. But um, oh, oh, well, never mind. That's a dated reference, isn't it? Um, Hathor, flattered by the oracle you built for it, will improve city's mood. I'm not particularly enamoured with either of those. Sure, my city's a little bit healthier, a little bit happier. Yeah, I could take it or leave it. Right, I feel like that none of the food has been uh, been harvested. The, the the granaries are not groaning under the weight of chickpeas. So this financial year, I uh, well regular year really, I tend to like double production with a nice big uh, housing block here. It's not the biggest housing block you've ever seen, but it's, it's fairly big. Oh, those archers, I'm getting bored with those archers not, not doing anything, or recovering, or anything. I'm amazed at how slowly my helmet's recovering, I'll be honest. So they can go on like a death march and sort out those hyenas. Maybe I'll have a housing block that goes round like that. And round on the other side. And a few on this side as well, but not too many. Now, here's the exciting part. We build a road that goes around like that, across like that, and then goes off to the wilderness. Pretty much. So a couple of roadblocks there to keep everyone on the straight and narrow, not one there. Although I will put a roadblock here and one there. So, I took my guitar and I smashed it against the wall. No. Sorry, it's burst into. Um, I've got to say song, but it wasn't, it was meatloaf. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Six. Build a road that goes across like so. And the roadblock there. I want firehouses, I want architects posts. Uh, you know. A police station to keep the population in check. And I will worry about the other amenities later. I might wait for the migrants to arrive first. Where the hell are you going? Get back here. I feel I've achieved something this, this video. Uh, I've got my food production going, I've fought, fought off some Bedouins, and most importantly, I've got the hyenas under control. I've got a horrible feeling that everything's going to collapse before the migrants come. Because it's all there just waiting for them. I think I mentioned this in one of the Zeus videos I uploaded. How with this game, no matter what the vacancy is, the game just floods in loads of migrants to fill up any housing vacancies that are available. In later Impressions games, like Zeus and Emperor, 
you're limited. It only brings in like 50 a month. So if you've got you've got a housing vacancy of a thousand, it takes you an age to fill them up. I suppose it is fair enough because it's quite a bit easier to keep your population maintained. The way the housing blocks are done, like it actually incorporates housing blocks into the um, like the way the cities are designed. It's worked out with Pharaoh. You have to like develop it independently. It doesn't give you a clue as to how to make housing blocks. <laughs> In Emperor, it practically tells you. In like the the introduction mission, like this is this is how you build a housing block. See, I feel I could have done this a lot earlier. Still, the important thing is I'm taking my money back. Short by 52 employees. That's fine. I mean, what I can also do is improve these housing blocks into something quite magnificent. Right, we've almost done it. No, we haven't, because there's some over there. Oh, there's two more down there. See, until you kill all of them, they'll just respawn like they have done over here. It's a good job transport fleets don't have a fatigue. I've left them out in the field for so long, they must be feeling pretty, like, lonely. I also can't believe in bringing in reinforcements to deal with hyenas. I feel like I've reached a new low. <laughs> Would you uh, like to board? Look, get on the damn ship. Oh, they're eating the migrants. Don't do that. Good, right. Now I've got two full um, arch companies to deal with this pack of hyenas. I think that's it. People are very pleased with me. Don't know why. Could I move the docks? Yes. I'm gonna wait till they've finished unloading we first. For some cargo to be delivered to our ship. Because I want, what I want to do is sell this copper because I'm just seeing it sitting there in. Um, also, shut down the weapon production. And all I can see is like dollar signs just lighting up in my eyes. We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. So destroy that shipyard there, put a dock in there. And then when that's done... We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. 
We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. Ooh, I miss the population is growing. I'm not really noticed. Right. I've kind of messed up the schedule a little bit here. I would have quite liked to have got everything set up by April. If learned nothing else from this video, take away that the, the harvest date of uh, chickpeas is April. Because I certainly have. So that can get worker access through there. And an irrigation ditch that goes up across. And round the back, because we can move the architect's post out of the way. We can remove them, feel there might be a way of getting your irrigation ditch through there as well. Yeah, so you put that down there, say that goes over the bridge there, across there like that. Cross like that. I've never focused so intently on irrigation ditches. And then curves up like that, put a roadblock in like that. Your irrigation ditch comes up to there. Boosh. And then, on the other side, we can have all your chickpea farms going across here, here, there, there. There, there. I might be going a bit mad with chickpeas and power. Right, that's the dream. So we have that going up, supplying labour to these farms. Put a roadblock in there. Then we have these houses providing labour to these farms. Right, and then these farms get the labour from these, and you put a roadblock in there. Then you put an irrigation ditch in that goes around the back doesn't go around the back. does go around the back. And then goes up and round there. Hmm. Where does it go next? It's a bit expensive, but I think it goes round and down and across and round like that. Good.
and to make sure it doesn't all burn down, we'll have one firehouse there for that lot, one firehouse there for that lot, and one there for that lot. Ditto architect's posts. Destroy that one there and bring you irrigation ditch across like that. Well, that's ruddy marvellous. <laughs> to use an expression. We'll give them a granary so they can fill the boots. And then, what well, they don't fill with the boots, they can take over here. I think... The building is not adjacent to a road. Hmm. That's fine, I can deal with that. It's complicated. But fundamentally works. I've got a bit of money left over, so I will build, give them some water. So they've got this food. Ooh. You can return home. But they can't eat it because I've not got a bazaar. And that's fine. So Bast is congenial. So I'm going to ask her to give for a festival, you know, give us a blessing. and Rara are displeased. And trying to Ra. They should be fine. No religious facilities. So I'll give you a temple to Ra. Hopefully the road's not too long and winding. It's pretty risky, I'll be honest. Whoa, look at them chickpeas. There's even some coming from here. So we now produce enough for 11,640 people. I think that's uh, that's plenty. Right, who's dying? Um, people over there, we'll give them a physician, so it doesn't happen again. Don't die again. We'll also give you a, a temple to... Ptah. No point building temples to Bast now, because she's got a temple complex. I've also got a complex, and with deities as well, since they all seem to be picking on me because of personal problems they have. I'm a recent Zeus one. Uh, Poseidon's is picking on me, Artemis is picking on me. Um, previous ones, Sophistus has been picking on me. I, I just feel a bit hard done by, you know. Short by 250 employees, I didn't quite think this through. Yee. Still, we've got plenty of food. Absolutely inundated with food, if you'll pardon the expression, because there's been no no floods, of course. Right, what I'm going to do is go to the world map, open up a of favorite with Boo, and I already have done, and tell them to export copper, because I just see I just see money. Importing, imported by the 1600s. Luxury goods exportable, that's nice. I've managed to shift that uh, linen eventually, so time to import some flax. We've got enough to hold 1600, so that's how much we'll take. Desperately short of pottery, but I don't want to start anything up. 
may have overdone it with the farms, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That might be in my best interest to build up this housing block now. Airs. Did I come out as airs in block? God. Temple to Ra. And then I'll dig into the. Uh... There we go. Or not. It's actually cheaper than just giving gifts to Pharaoh or to the people. How do you give gifts now? Send a gift to the people of Egypt. No. Absolutely not. They should be they should be giving gifts to me. For being so benevolent. I think it might be an idea to have another housing estate over here. Free from all the like, the farmland and such, but close enough to... I was going to say everything, but it's not really, because all your... Um, butter and stuff is over here. Oh, so many chickpeas. I'm so happy right now. You wouldn't believe. So no reason not to build a bazaar here and turn this into a, a bit more of a, a fully fledged community. So if we extend your roads out there, there's no reason not um, to turn this into a bit more of a fledgling community. Ooh. Finally. Sells beer, buys weapon. Ooh. That's probably put me in debt, hasn't it? No, it hasn't. That's surprising. So just to mess up with the algorithm a bit, I'll put a bandstand in here. And the conservatory and a juggler school over here. And they could also do with some entertainment, so conservatory there, and a juggler school there. And then all I'm missing is just pottery, pottery everywhere. You can do that with a nice big statue of me. There we go. Uh, alert your shoulders. Alert your shoulders. Huh. The Egyptian army is engaged in combat in the distant city of Kerma and requires you dispatch reinforcements there. Send troops to their aid within 18 months. I'm going to pull another infantry fort. I don't know what size force it needs. A small force. I've got 17 months, so I may as well use the time to build up an extra to fort. Because I've got the weapons. I've got the food, there's the jobs for everyone, there's nothing stopping anybody from... Hmm. You can do with a granary here. Just get all the chickpeas. They should be coming through from here. 
In fact, I see no reason not to turn this whole area into like a, a crossroads of housing. Get a bit creative with it. Or we could just build a great big whack off um, housing block over here. Something like that. So how short of employees are we? 202. I might finally beautify this place so that these places aren't quite so slummy. There we go. Extra room for 16. Basically want to bring everybody up to the ordinary cottage level. Hmm. Ooh, could, could put a booth in there. That's nice. Um. Put a juggler school in there, and then as they're walking to the booth, they'll they'll get entertainment. Ha! Huh, wonderful. Short by 144. That went down quick. Lots more people coming in. If I open up the industries, how short of employees am I? Very, is the answer. But that's okay. I can I live with that for a little a while. When I bring these goods back to my homeland. There we go. Because when they bring the pottery in, of course, they'll they'll improve. Then they'll love spacious homesteads. And then they need to worry about what do we do about beer. I wonder if the city has any sights I could see while they unload my ship. Hmm. I never did shut that dock I down, did I? I can't wait to trade my supplies. I was going to bite the bullet. There we go. The what do you do? I can't wait to train my supplies. Wow, that's uh, oh, I thought I thought they devolved because of the uh, desirability from the docks. I thought they're a sensitive bunch. So. I could see oh, beautiful. Head. Also need to reopen the weapons industry. Right, that means everything's... I can export weapons as well. Everything's up and running. So, total lack of employees, 211. That's really quite workable. Yeah, they're really not um, improving because the area's the area's terrible. They could also do with some food as well, I think. Ooh. Eighteen months. Oh yes. That's well, not as many as I would have liked. With these goods. Yeah, shut up. You're gonna have to do it once a year. It's not my fault. That's the way the map's been arranged. It's just, just the way it is. So, what about your goals in this mission? Need eight thousand population, sixty-five culture, thirty prosperity, sixty-five prosperity. Monuments. Do we need to build one? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's too late to be thinking about this. I'm going to finish the video here because I'm actually a lot happier about this situation than when I first started. I've got everything that I want in terms of food sorted, military sorted, uh, overall sort of prosperity sorted. I might I could do with a few more weavers actually. 
Um, so now we just need a small mud brick pyramid and a mausoleum. Which means we've got to import some sandstone from somewhere. Who sells sandstone? I, I don't know. I don't know where you're supposed to get sandstone from. I'm getting it from somewhere. But that's for another time, because the logistical challenges are just getting to me a bit now. So I will see you in the not-too-distant future. Sarah.